What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, I'm Garrett's Money and Week, Black Bro. So, today, what I got for you guys. Hold on, man. Today, what I got for you guys is a part two of my build compare series. Now, today, we got, you know, the most infamous offensive thread build. You know, we get that at number one. And then at number two, we get the two way slash and playmaker. Now, both these builds can probably do the same thing. Now, before we get into it, if you're new, person on this channel you know just drop a like and subscribe but it doesn't hurt to show love but yeah man let's get it started so let me show you the build i'm using as an offensive thread but well, basically how am i how am i how i'm using it so as you guys can see right here i'm using a 6-3 point guard minimum weight spawn minimum weight and you see the physicals right there this is the offensive threat now I know you guys saying, oh, this is probably a common build, but not really because it, it could possibly be the best, depending who is using it. So, watch that now. I'm going to give you guys the slash and playmaker real quick. Now, as you guys can see, I got the 6-5 two-way slash and playmaker. Now, unlike my last build series where it, it really was very debatable, but this one is going to be kind of short because... We're gonna see how and why this the the build is better. I'm gonna see the build. I'm not gonna give the build yet, which is better stat wise, but I'm just gonna let you guys see this right here, and so you guys give me your thoughts. You know, so watch this. I mean, now I don't know if you guys can really see it, but I'm gonna read out the both of them for you to see that you know that this build is kind of better stat wise, and if you really can shoot with a two-way slash and blade then you will be a demigod bro. so let me guard let me show let me read this out real quick so close shot driving layup post up mid-range shot three point shot and free throw now when it comes to start wise those six things are the only set that is better than a two-way slash and play now as you can see yeah they're mainly using tools and stuff like that but come on but you get pass accuracy ball handle post moves interior defense permanent defense defense in general block steal rebounding and we get driving dunk and standing dunk now i would rather this build just to decrease a little bit of my shooting to get a better start wise like bro and you have Hall of Fame defense. Come on, bro. Come on. This is this is way better. This is way better than a offensive threat, bro. Like no care. No joke. And look at what, we have speed, the physicals. We get 91 speed, 55 strength. Of course he's a point guard, 6'5. 94 acceleration and 95 vert. Not too much, but up by one. Finishing and shooting is better. Finishing and shooting is better for the offensive threat. I think this this revolves around the badge points and the pie chart you use, but playmaking and defense bro. So overall I really think that this build right here is the best build bro. So it's confirmed the best build is a two-way slashing playmaker better than he is very better better than an offensive threat so before you make an offensive threat make it two-way slash and playmaker first bro. Make, just make it two-way slash and playmaker first unless you have personal preference on hall of fame shooting and hall of fame quick draw and stuff like that but guys i really i really hope you make a two-way slash and playing but you know this video is not short at all i hope you guys like the series comment down any comment down any builds below you want me to compare and i'll do that for you guys real quick i'm in like a video as soon as possible bro so it's been your point cash money we out show some love and it's been yeah peace bro